It is the 10th day of April 2018 and the 100th day of this year. A very warm welcome to you and welcome to Nakuru TV News Roundup. I'm Esther Mwai. Nakuru County Commissioner Mr. Joshua Nkanada and his security committee together with EACC will launch a portal called Mulika Hongo, which is a platform for reporting any government official receiving, demanding, asking or giving a bribe and any misconduct, harassment or extortion by any government official. The event powered by Mulika Hongo platform, which is the medium of use for reporting corruption unanimously and conveniently, will be held at Nyayo Garden and will be preceded by a procession along Kenyatta Avenue at 10 a.m. to promote the portal, which is new. Mulika Android app will provide medium through which the members of the public can report incidences of corruption safely and unanimously. This is the first time in the history of Kenya the police and the security management uh, department and heads of different government departments are coming together to speak out against corruption, showing accountability and transparency. In the issue of corruption, there is a giver and there is a taker. And then there is a third person who is a witness. Because corruption being a crime, in, and in every crime, there is a witness to that crime. So we are saying that tomorrow we will be having a procession. And the idea about this procession is that the security management is coming out clearly to say that as they have been accused of taking, they are coming out to add the public to stop the giving. Because both are crimes and both happen. So the procession will start from railway, we will go through Kenyatta Avenue, and then we turn to Water Park and then come back to Nyayo Gardens. So I'd like to invite you all to that event so that we can participate effectively in national security as citizens. The renovation of the multi-million Nakuru County Assembly Chambers seems to have delayed with the MCAs having at one point raised concerns over the same. Angry Nakuru MCAs caused a star when they refused to sit on plastic chairs in the temporary chamber to protest the delay in the completion of the refurbished chamber. The angered Honorable members opted to remain standing while conducting house business. The old chamber has been undergoing renovations for the past one year, but according to the MCAs, there have been delays in the completion of the chamber despite the contractors having been awarded the job. The delays in the completion of the chamber have led to the ward representatives to opt to sit in the hall, hence they want a change. In March, MCAs at one particular session stormed out of the hall, vowing not to attend any sitting before getting an explanation from the assembly leadership. When contacted over the matter, assembly clerk Joseph Malinda said that the contractor violated the agreement, leading to delay in completion of the renovation of the refurbished chamber. An Akuru Catholic priest has opposed the proposal by Kiambu women representative Gadoni Wamushoba on polygamy. Speaking during a mass on Sunday, Father Bernard Rono of St. Augustine Parish in Kiamuni said the move is against the stand of the church of one man, one wife. The parish priest argues that the proposal by Wamushoba is a cultural and worldly thought which the church is against as the difference between the church culture and traditions is like day and night in baringo county one person was killed and more than 100 others displaced after a heavy downpour that lasted for hours the baringo flood swept away more than 182 animals including goats sheep and chicken the destructive floods also destroyed more than 300 hectares of land and a maize plantation and cut off the bridge between el dume and marigat <music> 
Several people have been injured and are nursing injuries after an anti-pollution protest that took a violent turn in Earth River area of Machakos County. The clash happened when hundreds of residents from Earth River Machakos County were holding a protest against London Distillers Kenya, alleging that the company is dumping toxic waste in their environs, leading to high levels of pollution. Speaking during the demonstration, the spokesman of Cotton Area Residents Association, Mr. Charles, Wabogo said the residents will not sit back and watch as hazardous effects of the pollution destroy the environment as well as their health. They want the farm to be shut down. But the company employees were not going to take this seated as they took part in a violent exchange that led to several casualties. Kenyan athlete crawls across the finish line to finish second in Hanover Marathon. Michael Kunyonga, a Kenyan athlete, was nearing the finish line of the Hanover Marathon on Sunday when the unexpected happened. Michael had been keeping a steady, a steady pace throughout the entire marathon and was in the leading pack with the finish line just in sight. He was heading towards victory when he began to wobble and stagger. Soon he collapsed. But miraculously, he continued to the finish line on his hands and knees and crossed the line to finish second. The race was characterized by sunny conditions and rising temperatures. The race was won by Ethiopia's Saboka Neguse. Michael Kunyuga. Der Mann mit der Nummer 8 hatte sich da wohl völlig verausgabt, wenn das Laktat in den Muskeln alles zerstört, die Koordinationsfähigkeit, der Puls am absoluten Limit ist bei 190, 200 Schlägen, dann kann das passieren. Thank you for watching. Keep it Nakuru TV.